I co-founded Skate to Great with Caitlin Weaver. Uh, she's second in Canada in ice dance figure skating. And we want every kid in Canada to have the right to skate. So we created this organization back in November. And this is our first launch event uh, here at Toronto City Hall. And we want to ask people to drop off their newer used skates into this bin over here. And we got FedEx on board as a sponsor and Lowe's. And people can drop off their skates to any Lowe's store across the GTA. And FedEx is shipping them for free. So that's what we're out here doing today at Nathan Phillips Square. It's a beautiful day. A lot of people just have skates just sitting downstairs in the basement or in storage. Um, and those are things we don't need to hold on to. And we can just keep giving them and giving more opportunities to people. So. Yeah. Um, you know, definitely just give if you can and, you know, help make um, a child's dream of being able to skate come true. Figure skating is such an expensive sport. I started when I was five. Um, I started at two and a half. <laughs> and both of our families have had to sacrifice a lot in order to make our skating possible. And I think it's something we're really grateful for. And we know that a lot of families, unfortunately, don't have the financial means to be able to do that for their children. So um, hopefully that's going to be able to give more children an opportunity to skate and maybe become great athletes. On a personal level, I come from a rough background and I didn't have the opportunity to join the hockey team as getting equipment was too expensive. So I never could develop my skills on the ice and I could never play on the team. So now we're giving kids that don't have the income or can't buy the equipment themselves or their parents can't afford it the chance to actually be able to skate, make the team and stay out of trouble. There's something special about skating. Like when you imagine getting up on your skates for the first time and getting balance, it's it, you can't really describe that. You can't like it's like balancing on a bike for the first time, right? You can't really. It's an experience that you have to get for yourself, and especially for deserving kids and at-risk youth, um, having a breakthrough there, having a breakthrough with teamwork. That's for me, I think, very important. And we want to include everyone in the Canadian cultural aspect of skating. When you get on that ice, it's like. There's no other feeling like it, so for any kid to be able to go out on the ice and try it is, I think, a great privilege. Skating is, is great in so many ways, whether you're figure skating or playing hockey or speed skating. Um, it's a really fun way to get exercise, and I think more importantly, skating has taught us a lot of life lessons and has helped create who we are as people. Um, and I think that's definitely something that all children can benefit from. On uh, March 7th, uh, Skate to Great's pairing up with Courage Canada to help some uh, visually impaired kids, you know, learn how to skate, get the opportunity to skate. And uh, actually, I, I arranged to have the Ryerson hockey team, a few of the members from the team, to come out and help the kids, you know, get up on the ice and kind of give them a, you know, inspirational look at skating. And, you know, it gives them a really nice gives them a nice thing to do it's a really positive thing for the for all the uh, kids and gives them like a, a you know a sense of hope and have, let them have fun from being at this event and just seeing how Evan a Ryerson student is able to create it I just really get the sense that Ryerson students are able to do anything that they set their mind to and uh, knowing Evan he's a good friend it's just really inspiring to see how he's able to create something like this you know in like a month so if he can do this you know people can do anything they want to do